Amber Heard wrote in a statement shared to Instagram, After a great deal of deliberation I have made a very difficult decision to settle the defamation case brought against me by my ex-husband in Virginia. It's important for me to say that I never chose this. I defended my truth and in doing so my life as I knew it was destroyed. The vilification I have faced on social media is an amplified version of the ways in which women are re-victimized when they come forward. Now I finally have an opportunity to emancipate myself from something I attempted to leave over six years ago and on terms I can agree to. I have made no admission. This is not an act of concession. There are no restrictions or gags with respect to my voice going forward. As reported by Mail Online, it is understood that Amber's insurance company will pay Johnny Depp $1 million to put an end to the case. A source close to the Aquaman actress also told the publication, Amber is now looking forward to moving on with her life as she planned to do six years ago. She wants to put this unfortunate episode behind her and turn to what she loves in life, her career, her family and her causes. Miss Heard was sued by Mr. Depp over a 2018 article she wrote for the Washington Post about her experiences as a survivor of domestic abuse, without naming Depp, which his lawyers said falsely accused him of abusing her. In June this year, a jury at Fairfax County Court returned a verdict in his favor and he was awarded $10. 3 million, 8.43 million pounds, for damage to his reputation. Earlier this month, Miss Heard sought to appeal against the verdict in her legal battle against Depp, arguing that it will have a chilling effect on other women. Continuing her statement on Instagram today, Miss Heard said, When I stood before a judge in the UK, I was vindicated by a robust, impartial and fair system where I was protected from having to give the worst moments of my testimony in front of the world's media, and where the court found that I was subjected to domestic and sexual violence. In the US, however, I exhausted almost all my resources in advance of and during a trial in which I was subjected to a courtroom in which abundant, direct evidence that corroborated my testimony was excluded and in which popularity and power mattered more than reason and due process. In the interim I was exposed to a type of humiliation that I simply cannot relive. Even if my US appeal is successful. The best outcome would be a retrial where a new jury would have to consider the evidence again. I simply cannot go through that for a third time. She then added that, for too many years I have been caged in an arduous and expensive legal process, which has shown itself unable to protect me and my right to free speech. I cannot afford to risk an impossible bill one that is not just financial, but also psychological, physical and emotional. Women shouldn't have to face abuse or bankruptcy for speaking her truth, but unfortunately it is not uncommon. Representatives for Mr. Depp have been contacted for comment. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were married in February 2015 and the actress filed for divorce in May 2016. In August 2016 the pair reached a $7 million financial settlement and said in a joint statement, Our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Miss Heard wrote her Washington Post op-ed in 2018, the same year that The Sun published an article which called Mr. Depp a wife beater. Mr. Depp sued the paper but lost the libel case in 2020 when the judge said The Sun had proved what was in the article to be substantially true.